Cleveland Browns add another piece to their defensive line. This time it's Sheldon Richardson adding a little bit of pass rush on the interior. So now we have Miles Garrett, who needed a ton of help coming into the offseason. They trade for Olivier Vernon on the other edge. They already have Larry Ogunjobi. And now Sheldon Richardson playing with his third team in four years, but a guy that's one of the more productive interior players in the league. He really is, and that is now a pretty terrifying defensive front four for the Cleveland Browns. This team is going to be legit in 2019 now that they finally have the quarterback they've been chasing for so long. And Sheldon Richardson, he's never uh, progressed into a great player that we thought he might after those first couple of seasons with the New York Jets, but he's consistently been a good player. And now he doesn't need to be, you know, a number one dominant inside force because they have all those players alongside him in Cleveland. He can just be one of a number of guys that can all complement Miles Garrett, who's the one star in that defensive line. He can bring some consistent pr uh, pressure. He's had multiple years with 50 or more pressures for an interior guy, especially one that isn't playing every single down. That's really impressive. Yeah, and last year, 47 pressures. That was the most Richardson has had since 2015. He has three elite run defense grades above 88. But again, we haven't seen that since 2016, but he's a solid all-around player. Of course, all those numbers, part of your PFF Elite package, premium stats, 2.0. So the big thing for the Browns is just adding some depth. Miles Garrett played over a thousand snaps last year. Ogan Joby, you know, one of the more overworked interior defensive linemen in the entire NFL. So just adding depth up front, you know, that defense continues to add pieces as the Browns just get scarier and scarier this offseason. Right, and, and as a four-man unit that should play the majority of the snaps, those guys are pretty terrifying. But that isn't everybody they've got. They still have young players like Gennard Avery, last year's rookie, who was a pretty impressive edge rusher in limited snaps. They still have uh, Manuel Ogba there, still earning some plays. So they've got guys that can chip in as the, the fifth, sixth, seventh man, which is what you need to get the kind of dominant defensive line that a team like Philadelphia has had over the past couple of years. There you have it, the Cleveland Browns building depth along the defensive line. This time it's with Sheldon Richardson on the interior.